Hi friends, thank you so much for clicking on this video today. My name is Kelly. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I am doing my August update for the Deck of Panning Project Pan. Um, this is probably my favorite project to participate in. Um, I get really excited to do these updates and everything. So yeah, this will be fun. Um, also, I did like a really fun pink and green makeup look today. Um, I use two shadows that are in my Pandas eyeshadows currently, and this multi-chrome on my lid is from Copacetic Cosmetics. Um, I think this turned out really fun. So, also, um, my hair is slightly damp right now, and it's, like, starting to get to the length where it gets, like, flippy on the ends. Um, so, if it, I keep touching it and everything, it's slightly bothering me at the moment. Anyway, let's just get into uh, my progress for the month of August. Um, I'm sure everyone is familiar with Deca Panning by now, but if you are not, it was created by Emily and Max, who was inspired by books of books with Maddie. Yes. Um, and basically there's a game board, you draw a card with a corresponding prompt, and you um, work on items based on whatever that prompt is. So, easy enough. Um, are you in the closet? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, Milo is just in the closet and I had to rescue him. So, um, now he's probably going to be sitting on me the whole time. I will do some, like, housekeeping really quick. Last month, I kind of preemptively rolled out my, um, uh, I rolled out one, um, product for the prompt fragrance um which was my ariana grande god is a woman perfume i only had six more uses on this and i use this every day i was like i'm just gonna roll it out um i will say i completed those six uses and have also used it pretty much every day so um when i started the project we were at this line up here so we've made really good progress so far also this matches my nails um so that's all kind of just a housekeeping note to keep myself accountable there now I'll just go through in the order that um, these have been in the longest. First uh, product I have, which is for Represent Another Project Pan, in which I chose Partners in Cream. Uh, and I took, or I grabbed my Tarte Lip Surgeons in the shade Dreamy. I have used this five total times. My goal is 10. Um, I don't think I quite realized how bright this is. Um, so this is taking me a good bit of time. I have used this as a blush once as well, um, just really having to blend it out. Um, so this one is going to take a while to get my five uses. I also have, I don't wear like bright lipstick and everything all too often, and I have a red lipstick in my That's So 2000s project pan at the moment, so those are just harder things for me to work on at any time. Um, but if I like blot this on and blend it out a little bit, it looks pretty nice. So five more uses on this project or product so this is staying in i would also just like to point out that now here's my son the love of my life next prompt we had was out of control category in which i had to pick eyeshadow palettes um so the palette i picked was my natasha denona cupid palette i set a goal to use this 10 times I used it five times in the first month and five times last month for a total of 10 uses. So this will be rolling out. Um, you can't really tell a whole lot of progress I made. Um, I mean, you can see some usage in this shade and this one over here. There is some in this lighter one as well, but the camera isn't really picking it up. I didn't use this one all too much. Mostly when I was using these shades, um, I was putting one of the shadows from my um, Pandas eyeshadows all over my lid versus using this one. So this specific shade kind of got neglected but I used all the other ones and I reached for this palette 10 times so we will be drawing a new card for this pro prompt. <laughs> Next was wild card and you get to choose anything for that so I picked my Fenty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. Um, this has not settled so I don't actually know how much I've used but my goal is to use this 30 times. Uh, I've used it 13 so far this just rolled in last month um, and I think my goal by the end of the year will be to finish this. And I think I can do that if I continue to work on it. 
Um, but this will be staying in for a little bit longer. This is one of my favorite lip glosses ever. I just think it looks so effortless almost. Um, so I am pretty sure I could get this one rolled out next month. Next prompt was newest product. And I had recently won a giveaway on YouTube from Laura Force on here. Um, and I won the Fantasy Cosmetica Druid palette, which is so stunning. Um, their new palette is also absolutely beautiful as well. This is what the palette looks like. It is so perfect for like fall. Um, oh, my low. The bug flew away. This will be so perfect for fall and I can't wait to reach for this in like October, November. Um, especially like these grungy kind of green shades over here. Ooh, I just love these. Um, but I set a goal just to use this five times and I did. Um, I used this shade down here kind of as um, a liner a couple times. I used this one up here as um, an inner corner highlight. I've used this as a liner. Um, so yeah, this is really fun. These are some like duochrome shadows that I don't have in my collection. Um, so I'm glad I got some use out of it having just gotten it because sometimes newer products tend to get neglected in my collection. So this one will be rolling out as well. The last prompt I picked last month was in it for the long haul. Um, so I chose my Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Beam. I feel like I know, I know of at least two people on YouTube who are panning this same product. Um, so in it for the long haul suggestion is a hundred uses. So I have a hundred use goal on this one, um, which is going to be interesting. This feels like a very summery. Summer will be coming to an end very soon. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but I use this eight times in the last month. Um, I have a handful of blushes that I'm working on. Um, so I just need to focus on this one more for the month of or the next month, whatever. Um, but yeah, 92 to go. So I have two um, items that will be rolling out this month. So that means we will be drawing two cards and I picked up the best ever deck of cards I've ever seen recently at a bookstore here in Atlanta. Um, I was with my boyfriend's sister and I saw these and I like gasped. And my first thought was like, I need to get these for my deck of panning videos. And these are drag queen um, playing cards. Uh, I'm obsessed with them. I mean, there's a door on the front. We have RuPaul and Bianca on the back here. Um, this is just the box that they're in. And I did realize though that um, only the face cards have queens on them, not the um, like number cards. So I just think these are so cute. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited about this. And I, do have two jokers in here, which I really hope to not get. Um, but shuffling is gonna take me a hot second because these are a brand new deck of cards. Um, and so they're not, they're very stiff and very in order. If I can figure out how to put the game board up on the screen here, I will do that. Um, no guarantees, but let's see. Let me take a peek at the game board because I haven't even really looked at it yet. What's on here? All right, I'm gonna do two more shuffles. Hopefully that will be enough. All right, and I will cut the deck here. Okay, first card, two of spades, which is, ooh, indie. I got that the first first time I did this as well. Then we have the eight of spades, which is brand you own the most from. So I've had these two prompts before actually, um, but that should be pretty easy. Let me go pick out some products and I will return. All right, I have my two new products. I'm very excited about this actually. So the first card, two of spades, was for the prompt Indie, and I picked my Odin's Eye Solmon highlighter palette. Um, I got this in one of the mystery boxes towards the beginning of the year. Um, and this is what the highlighters in here look like. These are really, really pretty. This one, which one is it? This top one is like very blue, um, which is kind of outside my comfort zone, but um, stunning. I love this. 
Um, but I haven't gotten a ton of use out of this actually. So I think I want to set a goal to use each shade in here. Mm, let's say five times, each shade five times. Um, so yeah, this will be for Indie. And then the other prompt that I had was for the Eight of Spades and that was Brand You Own The Most Of. And that is still Far and Away ColourPop. Um, so I'm gonna roll in this ColourPop Cream Shadow in the shade Agave Bloom. This is a little bit older in my collection. It's definitely starting to dry out. Uh, it doesn't quite smell funny, but um, we'll probably get there soon. Um, so I wanna make sure I get some use on it before I can't anymore, basically. It's just like a standard kind of all over lid light brown color. Um, but I think this will work well as like a base for some eyeshadows and stuff, especially if I'm just doing like a neutral look. So to recap, we have five more uses on my dreamy tart um, lippy. I have, oh, you can kind of see where this is settled now. It's about here. Um, I have, what, 17 more uses on my Fenty lip gloss. I have 92 more uses on my Glossier Cloud Paint. And then this will be five uses for each shade. Oh, I don't think I set a goal on this, did I? I'm gonna do 20 uses on this one. Um, so that concludes my deck of panning update. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you are new, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, so far I have exclusively been posting project panning content, but I would really love to kind of expand beyond that as well. So. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.